Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Redmi K20 Pro and we are talking about the latest version of Siberia that is Siberia 4.7. Now broadly this has been a ROM that has been recommended by me multiple times and that is the reason something new that we are starting on the channel. It's not exactly new, we did similar series in the past but it's been a very very long time. The last time we did this was on the OnePlus 5T but we are talking about real life ROM reviews. Now this right here is a 5 to 7 minute video in which I'm going to tell you my today's experience but from tomorrow onwards you might see these things in the forms of shorts or a complete video I don't really know because every four or five hours whenever I see the updates or when I think that I should update you guys from you know starting the day to draining the battery to 25 to 30 percent or consuming Netflix or playing games and stuff like that I will be sharing those inputs you know time to time to give you a real gist of what exactly it is using Siberia OS as a daily driver. Now today this is the first impressions. I know we've done this in the past but this is the real life first episode. I've been using it since morning so let's see what my experience has been. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other, so join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to PhoneOps, my name is Kalash, let's get going. Alright, so first things first, what is this? This is Siberia OS for the Redmi K20 Pro or Mi 9T Pro. Both are similar devices, same devices. So if we have a look over here, I know we have a lot of exciting ROMs that have come up. Let's quickly look for Siberia OS now. This is it. Updated on the 24th of August. It does say a bunch of notes over here. Remember if you're flashing this, make sure you're flashing with Android 10 firmware. This does have a paid pro version as well and the differences are mentioned. You can go ahead and check it out. But let's have a look at the change log over here real quick. Now device side cleaned up thermal profiles, updated Gcam to BSG, fixed MyFair classic reading, reduced Wi-Fi power usage, updated power profile to match Android 11 framework change, updated clear speaker audio from MIUI 12, miscellaneous changes. Now, there are quite a lot of changes in the kernel and some amount of changes in the ROM as well. But for me, on a 60 hertz display, now I understand I say this categorically every single time, but I understand the other two phones that I'm using are 120 hertz. So for me using this, so, you know, let me actually put you through what exactly happens in uh, real life ROM review. Basically, if we are going to review this particular ROM on this device, I'm going to pop in my personal SIM card in there. I'm going to use all the applications that I use on a daily basis. That is the reason you see these many applications and games and benchmarks and stuff like that, because that is then going to give you the real life scenario, not like your typical, you know, ROM review, wherein I use it for a couple of days. And in a 10 minute video, I give you all the download because that is a little less realistic. And there are some estimates and stuff like that. This will be, you know, a little raw, a little unpolished, but it will give you accurate information. That's the idea. So I started the day with some other ROM. I think it was Pixel Experience that was installed on it. And the phone was already on 99% battery. I flashed it. I used uh, the Nick G apps, the Omni Nick G apps to have the setup menu. And we then formatted it to F2FS. So this is the F2FS file system that I'm using. And then I've set up everything, you know, my banking applications, the games that I play, WhatsApp, Facebook, all the social media and the first thing that I'd like to share over here, if you use this ROM the way it is supplied by the developer or the development team, you will not have any issues because with most of the custom ROMs on uh, the K20 Pro, you will either have Google Camera Go or you will either have a very, very basic camera application. So you're going to first have to fiddle around and install ANX camera or look for the right version of Gcam and then look for the XML. So right there, when you flash Siberia, that part is taken care of. So, you know, you don't have to worry about the camera application. We will talk about the picture quality in maybe episode two or episode three. But once you've installed it and once you've set everything up, it's a pretty straightforward, good experience. Now, let me quickly show you here what I am talking about. So basically using this device as a personal device on this particular ROM, I charged the phone 13 hours back. 
we did use three hours and 26 minutes of screen on time so that's pretty decent now remember this k20 pro is more than a year old so the battery is taking some beating and uh, we do a lot of testing and all sorts of rom flashing and stuff so you know the battery life would be a little less compared to your typical k20 pro which gets flashed maybe once a month or once a week so the charging for me has been there the charging didn't give me any issues the touch for me not a problem at all rear camera front camera everything has been working fine and something that i noticed myself using a lot is multitasking now look at the amount of apps that we have over here in memory and when i say in memory if you pull up anything there you go it's really instant and even on a 60 hertz display the smoothness is just next level the other thing that i like as i always said you know no matter what launcher or what rom i'm using or what device i'm using unless it is an iphone to the left google feed really really makes a lot of difference for me because it does adapt to my way of reading what topics i like and what news i like to read and every single day whenever i have the time five minutes or ten minutes i check out the news updates and stuff like that so google feed for me is very important and it becomes a little annoying you will see that what i mean when when you see the full review or initial impressions of uh, mi year 12.5.4 on the poco x3 pro the global rom that video should be out tomorrow as well so you know the smoothness in siberia os is next level now we are not even talking about a rom which is uh, overclocked so this is not the overclocked version with 70 or 75 hertz display right now as far as the launcher is concerned i didn't feel the need of making any changes as far as the entire setup is concerned i didn't feel the need of making any changes although you can press and hold over here you can go to styles and wallpaper and you can choose your own style you know for example the default is circle i've chosen to keep it squircle with yellow icon packs and stuff like that you can go ahead and apply your personalized wallpaper and there is a ton of customization that i have seen now again remember this is a real life rom review so i'm just going to share things which i have explored today i did go to siberia settings i did play around with a few settings that i think would make some difference for example if you talk about these options over here so let's lock the screen over here screen off fod there you go so it has been working just fine for me it is like almost perfect just as good as mi ui and these animations that you see over here they are really really good especially this mclaren one i really really like it a lot i think it is from the mclaren one plus 70 or mclaren one plus seven i don't know some mclaren edition one plus device and you do have a bunch of options for fod icon picker as well so you know if you ask me as episode one of real life rom review now remember i'm going to use it for one more day that is tomorrow before i eventually switch to a different device and different rom and maybe give you another real life rom review while i travel or do my daily stuff because the whole idea as i said is that is how you are going to use the rom in your daily life and you should know what matters to you now in today's day i did use the camera quite a bit i did click a few pictures for you know documentation and other things sometimes to do, you know just to take, check the quality and stuff it has been working just fine it has been working absolutely fine i used google duo for video calls no problems there so basically voice over lt network connectivity 5 gigahertz wi-fi i've not had any issues at all no call drops no you know random overheating on this particular device i did play bgmi maybe i don't know 10 15 minutes just to test the smoothness and stuff so it went really really well so that's it from episode one of real life rom review siberia is for the k20 pro stay tuned for the upcoming shots and episodes because it's going to be a lot of fun putting these devices and these roms through their paces in the real world and see how they actually perform let me know in the comment section what do you think about this brilliant old new idea until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye